In E555 IC tester circuit. Testing in any 555 timer, IC involves checking its functionality by constructing a simple circuit to verify its modes A stable, mono stable, or bi stable. Here's a basic any 555 tester circuit and how to build it. Components required. Any 555 timer, IC. 8 pin IC base. 10 kilo ohms resistor. 100 kilo ohms resistor, 10 micro farad capacitor, 10 nano farad capacitor, LED, 9 volt battery, 0 PCB, on off switch, jumper wire, circuit diagram. Here's a simple circuit diagram for testing an NE555 timer in a stable mode. How to build the circuit? 1. Power the IC. Connect pin 1 ground to the negative terminal of the battery and pin 8 VCC to the positive terminal. 2. Timing network. Connect a 10 kilo ohms resistor between pin 7 discharge and pin 8 VCC. Connect a 100 kilo ohms resistor between pin 7 and pin 6 threshold. Connect a 10 microfarad capacitor between pin 6 and pin 1 ground. Short pin 6 and pin to trigger. 3. LED indicator. Connect a 330 ohms resistor in series with the anode of the LED to pin 3 output. Connect the cathode of an LED to pin 1 ground. 4. Control voltage optional. You can leave pin 5 control voltage unconnected. Or connect it to ground through a 10 nano far ed capacitor for stability. 5. Reset. Connect pin for reset to pin 8 VCC for normal operation. How it works. When you power the circuit, the NE555 IC operates in a stable mode, continuously oscillating and generating a square wave at pin 3. The LED will blink according to the frequency set by the resistors and the capacitor. This simple setup can help you quickly verify if your NE555 timer is working. If the LED blinks as expected, the IC is likely operational. Troubleshooting. Ensure all connections are secure. Check the battery voltage. It should be 9V. Verify the orientation of the LED and the polarity of the capacitor. By using this circuit, you can test if the NE555 timer is functioning correctly in generating pulses. Thank you for watching.